motivation, inspiration, problem solving. We keep you moving forward. Emotional Mojo starts now. Hey there, welcome back to Emotional Mojo. I'm Michelle Yarn, along with licensed clinical psychotherapist Jada Jackson, mm -hmm. registered dietitian and nutritionist Tara Guidis. And we're challenging you to compliment today. So to help you, we have etiquette expert and manners mentor, Marilee McKee joining us. Hi, Marilee. Hello. All right, guys, so we have less than 30 minutes left in our show to take on our challenge to give a compliment. You get cold when it's 71 degrees out. I love that it takes you an hour and a half to order a sandwich. I love that you get a little crinkle above your nose when you're looking at me like I'm nuts. I love that after I spend a day with you, I can still smell your perfume on my clothes. And I love that you are the last person I want to talk to before I go to sleep at night. I love the way you laugh, and I love the way your hair smells. And I, I love it that sometimes for no reason you're late for shul. And I don't care that you're bow-legged, and I don't care that you're bilingual. You're very generous. You're kind to strangers and children. And when you stand in the snow, you look like an angel. I want all of you, forever, you and me, every day. <laughs> you complete me. You're my only reason. Oh, oh possibly the is. best compliments ever, guys. <laughs> we are asking and encouraging you to give someone a great compliment today. Maybe not bring up being bow-legged. Yeah, yeah. Just leave that But it will make that person feel great, and it'll change how they feel about you. And Jada, I know you've got some of the amazing benefits of giving compliments. Yeah, they're amazing for the person who's giving, and it's amazing for the person who's receiving. Okay. So for the people who are giving, it's going to build healthier relationships, and that's really important. And of course, increase positive self-esteem. And I said this earlier, believe it or not, when you give someone a physical reward like money, mm -hmm. it's the same fi rapid fire chemicals that are released in the brain as giving a compliment. Nice. So when we receive, same thing. You're going to increase your own, the happiness of the other person. So we always want to make a person's day, right? Yeah. And then it amplifies positivity and stronger relationships. Nice. So that's very simple. It's not that big of a deal. Yeah. It's something mm -hmm. we can do today. Well, since we know the why, we mm -hmm. should compliment. We have Marilee for the how, because sometimes we try and it can get a little awkward. I really like your your Harry Potter scarf. It looks, My Harry Potter scarf? It brings out the color of your eyes. Oh, thanks. So, yeah. I love your keys. Oh, yeah. thanks, man. You have great beard genetics. Absolutely best I've ever seen. Great beard. Thank you. Amazing beard. Okay, so yes, <laughs> it can get awkward. <laughs> yes. So we need to know, Marilee, as the expert, we're gonna pick your brain a little bit. You've got some of the best compliment starters, which we did review at the top of the show. Let's right. take a look at those. And as people read these, kind of tell us what they all have in common as to why these are good compliment starters. We can just run through them all. I admire the way you, you have great skill for, you example for everyone by the way you. And as you read these, keep in mind that you're complimenting something very specific in the person. You're not complimenting them solely on their looks. You're like their keys or their beard. Yes, okay. or their keys <laughs> or their beard. You're complimenting something deeper than that. I call compliments soul CPR. They really do breathe life into the deepest parts of us. And so let's compliment something a little bit deeper than a beard or hair or a necklace, okay. compliment a trait within them. Interesting. Now, here's a question. Do we have to compliment back? Do you guys ever feel like that? Mm -hmm. If someone says something nice to you, you feel like, oh, and I love your, right. and then it's and awkward because you're like, you're nice too. You're like about to down. Yeah. Like, okay, what can do I do? Do you have to okay. reciprocate? No, not at all. Allow someone the joy of giving that gift. Oh. As Tara I said, of giving important. that $500, yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, that's important because the reality is oftentimes when we do give a compliment, it is for us as well. Some people say, well, that's selfish. No, not really. No. When you give, then it's kind of a reciprocal process, right? Yeah. We're able to benefit as well. Absolutely. What about the backhanded compliments? Oh, I yes. think we've all seen these before. It's basically an insult veiled as a compliment. Like mm -hmm. you're at a dinner party and somebody's like, wow, this is good this time. Something <laughs> yeah. like that. Yeah. How do you respond? What is the proper etiquette? All right. The person meant to hurt you. Don't let them make that goal. All right, you're gonna block that goal from them. Okay. So hmm. accept the compliment as if they actually meant it, and in fact, double the compliment. If they said, oh, it's really good this time, 
Well, thank you for complimenting the dinner, and also thanks for remembering the other one. Two compliments from Boom. you. Definitely good. Good. I, <laughs> I guarantee you they will not do it again. All right. And make sure you say it loud enough that others hear. Okay. I and like what that. if they if they did mm -hmm. it and they didn't really mean to do it? To be mean. Then they probably oh, yeah. aren't going to understand that you did it that way. They're just going to say, oh, all right. So you kind of win there, anyway. Yeah, there's a lot of sarcasm yeah. involved with those yeah. bad yeah. kind of compliments. Absolutely. Yes. Like, yeah. Well, thank you, Marilee. You guys can head to mannersmentor.com if you want to learn more about Marilee and get more tips. You've got all kinds of great oh, etiquette articles yeah. and tips Hundreds on that Hundreds of site. them. Love it. All right, guys. I got a question for you. Yeah. Hey, baby, do fries come with that shake? <laughs> yeah, one comedian is shaking it up by asking women and men what they really think about catcalling. We'll get to that when we return, you little hottie. <laughs>